KVR Maths Academy, Maths in Easy Way. Welcome to KVR Maths Academy. In this video, let's discuss 14, 15, 16 problems in exercise 2.2 in linear equations in one variable of 8th class mathematics. Right? Yes, before doing these problems, yours, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Those who are not subscribed yet. Thank you. Yes, let's go through this. Yeah. 14th question. Lakshmi is a cashier in a bank. She has currency notes of denomination rupees 100, rupees 50 and rupees 10 respectively. The ratio of the number of these notes is 2 is to 3 is to 5. The total cash with Lakshmi is rupees 4 lakh. How many notes of each denomination does she have? Understood clearly the sum or not? Yes, look here. Lakshmi is a cashier in bank. She has currency notes of denomination 100 rupees, 50 rupees and 10 rupees. Right. Yes, the ratio of these notes are 2 is to 3 is to 5. Total money with Lakshmi is 4 lakh. So we have to find the number of notes in each denomination. Right. So how many 100 rupee notes are there? How many 50 rupee notes are there? How many 10 rupees notes are there? We have to find. Right. Let us solve. Solution. The ratio. The ratio of rupees 100, rupees 50 and rupees 10 notes are yes, 2 is to 3 is to 5, right? 2 is to 3 is to 5. So let the let the 100 rupee 100 rupee notes be taken as 2x, right? 2x and 50 rupee notes are rupee 50 notes b how much 3x and rupee 10 notes b is 5x right so let the 100 rupees notes be 2x 15 rupee notes be 3x and 10 rupees notes be 5x right sum of the notes is equal to given or not not given some of the notes are not given yes look here according to the problem according to the problem total money total amount with Lakshmi with Lakshmi is equal to how much rupee 4 lakh right rupee 4 lakh which means look here so 100 rupee notes into 2x plus 50 rupee notes into 3x plus 10 rupee notes into 5x if you do we will get 4 lakh or not yes exactly we will get therefore that implies 100 into 2x plus 50 into 3x plus 10 into 5x is equal to 4 lakh right yeah so 100 into 2x means 200x plus 53 is a 150 150x plus 10 5 is a 50x is equal to 4 lakh right 200 plus 150 350 350 plus 50 400 400x is equal to 4 lakh so x is equal to we have to find the value of x only now x is equal to 4 lakh by here because 400 is multiplying x uh, this side come means it will be divide 400 so two zeros two zeros will be cancelled four in four thousand four ones are four zero 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 so x is equal to how much more one thousand so x means one thousand now we have to find the number of nodes right so 100 rupees nodes be two x means two into a thousand 2000 next uh, 50 rupees notes is 3x now so 3 into 1000 3000 this is 10 rupees notes is 5x 5 into 1000 5000 therefore number of 100 rupee notes 
is equal to 2 into 1000 right 2000 next rupee 50 notes is equal to 50 notes means 3x only na 3 into 1000 3000 next rupee 10 notes 10 notes is equal to 5 into 1000 5000 right let us do check now check total amount total amount is equal to here so 100 rupees notes are 2000 is there so 100 into 2000 right plus 50 rupee notes are 3000 are there 50 into 3000 plus 10 rupees notes are 5000 is there 10 into 10 into 5000 right 100 into 2000 is 1 2 is 2 1 2 3 4 5 5 zeros are there so give okay, 5 zeros which means 2 lakhs plus 5 3 is 15 1 2 3 4 4 zeros are there right which means 1 lakh 50 thousand plus 1 5 is 5 1 2 3 4 4 zeros are there so this is 50 thousand see 2 lakh, 1 lakh 50 thousand and 50 thousand. Totally 4 lakhs. Rupees 4 lakh. So what has given in the sum? Came or not? So exactly what we have done is right. Hence the result is, hence the result is true. As noted out. Next 15th question, I have a total of rupees 300 in coins of denomination rupees 1, rupees 2 and rupees 5. The number of rupee 2 coins is 3 times the number of rupee 5 coins. The total number of coins is 160. How many coins of each denomination are with me? So totally I have 300 rupees of coins, 1 rupee, 2 rupee and 5 rupee coins. Right. So totally 160 coins are there. Totally 160 coins are there. And 2 rupee coins is 3 times the number of 5 rupee coins. So finally we have to find the number of coins in each denomination. Right? Yeah. Solution. Total number of total number of coins is equal to how much has given? 160. Right? Yeah. So each of denomination 1, 2 and 5 we have to find, right? Yes. Here given the number of 2 rupee coins is 3 times the number of 5 rupee coins. So the number of 5 rupee, 5 rupee coins be taken as x, right? Yeah. Then the number of rupee 2 coins is equal to how many? 3 times the number of 5 rupee coins, no? So 5 rupee coins means x. That is 3 times means 3 into x. That is equal to 3x. Right? Next, uh, number of rupee 1 coins. So how many? Here 5 rupee coins is x. 2 rupee coins is 3x. Total 4x. Next, total coins are 160. So rupee 1 coin means? How many we will get? So 160 minus 160 minus sum of these two coins that is x plus 3x that is equal to 160 minus x plus 3x 4x right yeah so total amount I have 300 only na? total amount according to the problem according to the problem Total money, total money is equal to rupees 300. So, how can you write the equation? So, here 1 rupee coins are 160 minus 4x, which means 1 into 160 minus 4x plus 2 rupee coins are 3x, which means 2 into 3x 
and 5 rupee coins are x 5 into x we will get rupees 300 isn't it yes so 1 rupee coin into 160 minus 4x plus 2 rupee means 2 rupee coin into 3x number of coins 3x only now yes that's why 3x plus 5 rupee coin into x 5 into x that is equal to 300 1 into 160 minus 4x will be 160 minus 4x plus 2 3s are 6x plus 5 into x 5x is equal to 300 isn't it look here 6x plus 5x these are both are positive values this is a negative value so that's why 6x plus 5x 11x 11x minus 4x 7x so 160 plus 7x 160 plus 7x is equal to 300 so 7x is equal to 160 transfer into this side this will become plus 160 will become minus 160 so 7x is equal to 300 minus 160 140 so x is equal to 140 here 7 is multiplying x this side come means it will divide so 20 is a so x is equal to 20 x means number of 5 rupee coins is equal to 20 right therefore number of 5 rupee coins is equal to 20 next 2 rupee coins into 20 320 is a 60 3 rupee 2 rupee coins next rupee 1 coins is equal to 160 minus 20 plus 60 how much 80 isn't it that is equal to 80 is it clear yes so 5 rupee coins are 20 2 rupee coins are 60 and 1 rupee coins are 80 totally 20 plus 60 plus 80 160 came or not yes let us do check here are some of the amounts let us do so 5 into 5 rupee coins into 20 plus 2 rupee coins into 60 plus 1 rupee coin into 80. So, how much 520s are 100 plus 260s are 120 plus 180s are 80. 120 plus 80 200, 200 plus 100 300 rupees 300. Right, rupees 300 we have got or not. So, what we have done is exactly right. Hence, the result is true. Hence, the result is true. So, have you understood clearly? Yes, not now. Sixteenth question. This is the final question in this exercise. The organizers of an essay competition decide that a winner in the competition gets a prize of rupees 100 and a participant who does not win gets a prize of rupees 25. The total prize money distributed is rupees 3000. Find the number of winners if the total number of participants is 63. Here 63 participants are there. So in this essay competition every winner is getting rupees 100 and the participant who does not win the game is getting rupees 25 so totally 3000 rupees is distributed so how many winners are there we have to find yes solution number of number of participants participants in the competition in the competition is equal to 63 right here let us think the number of winners is equal to x let the number of number of winners winners be x yes the number of participants participants does not does not win is equal to how many here total number of competitors are 63 number of winners are x 
so number of participants who does not win which means 63 minus x or not 63 minus x isn't it because so total participants is 63 winners are x then losers are which means uh, participant does not win 63 minus x only right so winners prize money winners prize money is equal to how much rupees 100 next uh, prize money prize money for the participants for the participants who does not win is equal to rupees 25 only isn't it so according to the problem total amount total amount is equal to rupees 3000 yes here win winners means x into 100 and who does not win the game so the 63 minus x into 25 if you do we will get a 3000 only yes yes so that implies 100 into x plus 25 into 63 minus x is equal to rupees 3000 right 100 into x 100 x plus 25 63 is a 25 3 is a 75 7 is there 25 6 is a 150 150 plus 7 157 minus 25 into x 25 x is equal to 3000 right so 100 x minus 25 x how much 75 x is equal to 3000 plus 1575 transfer to this side which will be minus 1575 so 75 x is equal to 3000 minus 1575 how much 3000 minus 1500 is 1500 minus 75 also 1425 so x is equal to 1425 by 75 so 75 how many times get cancelled yes 75 ones are 75 next to 75 nine sir so x is equal to 19 19 means here x means winners therefore what did he ask find the number of winners only na? yes therefore number of winners winners is equal to 19 right yes let us do check also next check i will do here check so winners 19 only na? So 19 into 100 rupees, 19 into 100 rupees plus the lo the losers. So total is 63. 63 minus 19, how much? 44, right? Yes, 44 into 44 into 25. So that is equal to 19 into 100, 1900 plus 25 fours are 100. 10 is there. 25 fours are 100. 100 110 so 1900 and 11 uh, 1100 that is equal to 3000 rupees 3000 we have got or not totally 3000 rupees only distributed right so hence the hence the result is true hence the result is true so have you understood clearly yes not at all Okay viewers, if you like my video, please like and share. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thank you very much.